you know, let me show you here today is how the spring loaded worm works and how to adjust it. So, what we have here is it floats up and down. And this is to compensate for any uh, out of concentricity of the main gear or heat changing from the system. So, the way it works, so, so you can see how this mechanism is. I'm going to remove the cover here. And as soon as you remove this cover, what you've done now is totally made the worm floating in between the worm blocks. So uh, this is what this plate is what holds the worm blocks together. So as soon as you removed it here, what ends up happening is now you're going to have a movement of the worm between the blocks. You've just created a problem. So what's happening here is these blocks are floating so they can lift up and down to compensate for the changing here. By putting this on here, we're holding the blocks together. And what you want to do is make sure there's a little gap here between this plate here and here. You don't want to push it up against it and you don't want it all the way over this way. You want just a little play in there and then this gets locked up. Now it gets locked up tight. Like that. So then this one goes in here on this side. And what you want to do then is twist this this way and that'll suck the worm in here. Then you press the worm block on this side in and then you lock this up. So that now holds the two bearing blocks in place so the worm cannot slide back and forth. Then you want to check and make sure you got movement here because this is what the whole system's for. This is your spring load to keep it down. So what I like to do is remove the cover here and you got your spur gears. So what you do is I keep this loose, push this up, so this turns really simple or easy. Then I turn this down till all of a sudden you get a drag here. And what this tells me is this is when the spring has enough pressure to actually push down the sliding of this mechanism here. Then I take this screw what this screw now is doing is pushing down into the plate and lifting the worm upwards. So what you want to do is you turn this until it hits the plate and then you're just going to adjust it. And it's ever so slight. We're talking an adjustment of probably a 50th of one turn until here. And then what that does is now you have no backlash here, no play between the bearings and you're set. Put the cover back on. Here, check here, and you can see we have floating. And that's how the system works.